Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial, in this video, we are creating, action trailer effect, like this. So let's get started. As usual, first create a new composition 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second, it's called main comp. Now create another new composition, it's called scene 1. Then create one more composition, it's called text 1. And type your text. Now select text layer and pre-compose, and change name your text 1. Now drag metal texture image into the timeline below the pre-compose layer and change track mat, alpha mat. Now duplicate your text one layer, and turn on layer I. And search fill effect. And change the color black. Then search bevel alpha effect. And change light angle around 130 degree. And edge thickness around 5. Now select layer and change mode normal to add. So you can see the bevel effect. Now go to scene 1 comp, and drag text 1 comp into timeline. And drag background texture image below the text 1 comp layer. Now drag particle footage into the timeline, above the background layer. And change mode normal to screen. Now drag black brush stroke image into timeline, and need to animate brush stroke image. But before we animate brush stroke image, we need to adjust the text one, you are free to adjust the text one layer as you like. Now animate brush stroke image, so scale and rotate according to your text. Select brush layer and hit P for position. Now go to few frame forward and add a keyframe, then go to first frame and move brush image out of the frame like this. I think our brush animation little bit slower, so move the last keyframe. Then select text one layer and change track mat alpha mat, so now you can see the effect. Now create new adjustment layer, and search shift channels effect. We need only green channel. So turn off the red and blue channel. Here you can see the effect. Now drag light image into the timeline. And change mode normal to screen. Now rotate light image and move its right corner side. Also move light image layer below the adjustment layer. Select Bend Tool and create a mask around light image. Hit double M to show mask property and increase mask feather. So that our mask footage corner easily blend with background. Now drag smoke footage into timeline. And change mode normal to screen. Move layer when you see proper smoke. Then trim the layer. Rotate its smoke layer and move right corner side. Now move smoke layer when our text animation complete. You can also move the smoke layer below the text layer, and decrease the opacity around 20%. 
Now create a new light. I am using point light. Before choosing light please make sure your layers should be in 3D layer. Now select light and move right side of the composition. Hit T to show light intensity, and you can increase the intensity according to your choice. Perfect. Now select light image and move little bit forward, when our smoke layer started. Our first scene has complete. Now go to main comp and drag scene 1 comp into the timeline, and duplicate scene 1 layer, also go to project window and duplicate scene 1 comp, now replace scene 2 comp timelines scene 1 comp, and move scene 2 comp around 10 frame forward, open scene 2 comp, then go to project window and duplicate text 1 comp, and replace this text 2 comp with scene 2 text 1 comp. Now select text 2 layer and move them. Also rotate the text 2 layer like this. Then select brush PNG layer, hit R for rotation, and rotated brush PNG layer same direction as text 2 layer. Then hit P to show position keyframe, and delete them for right now. This is totally on you how you want your text look like, I am just show you example, you can adjust the text according to your choice. Then also adjust brush PNG. Now hit P for position, and go to few frame forward and add a keyframe. Then go to first keyframe and move brush PNG like this. Now we need to change the color, so select adjustment layer and turn off the green channel. And take blue from blue. Also change the light left side of composition. And also change the light PNG direction, and rotation like this. And also move the smoke layer direction and position like light PNG image. One thing I forget to create shake movement of our text, so select brush PNG and parent with text 2 comp layer. Then select text 2 layer and show the position. Then go to few frame forward when our text half visible. And add a keyframe, then go to 2 frame forward and move the text 2 layer a little bit. Then go to again around 2 frame forward and paste the same first keyframe. Perfect, do the same with our scene 1 text layer. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. Now go to main comp, and move scene 2 lay a little bit close, it's all depend on your music. You can adjust the layer according to your music.
Now duplicate scene to layer. Then go to project window and also duplicate the scene 2 comp. And replace with scene 2 layer. Select scene 3 layer, then go to few frame forward and trim the layer. Now open scene 3 comp, select text 2 layer and hit P to show position keyframe, and hit shift S for scale and shift R for rotation. And go to last keyframe on the timeline, then add a keyframe on scale and rotation. Then go to few frame forward and change scale amount 100%. Also change the Z rotation 0 degree. And move the layer position center of the composition. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now select adjustment layer and add a keyframe on opacity and change opacity around 45% then go to few frame forward and change opacity 100% and also change the color channel so turn off the blue and take red from red one more thing our brush png image not covering full text composition so select brush PNG layer, and go to same first keyframe of adjustment and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to same last keyframe on adjustment layer. And increase the brush PNG scale amount, so that it's fully cover our text layer. Perfect. It's look good to me. And also change the light center of the text. Now drag shockwave footage into the timeline, below the text layer. And move the shockwave footage, when we see the complete shockwave appear into the composition. Then trim the shockwave layer. Perfect. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now duplicate scene 3 comp player, then go to project window and duplicate the scene 3 comp, and replace with duplicate scene 3 comp. Now trim when our text hit the background and go to few frame forward and trim from backside. Open scene 4 comp and select adjustment layer and select green for green channel. Here you can see we got different color. Now duplicate again scene 4 comp and also duplicate into the project window and replace it. Open scene 4 comp, select adjustment layer, and choose different color channel. Do the same 3 to 4 time, I am skipping this part so that, you don't have to wait. Perfect, it's look good to me. Here we have done all animation. Hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.